to switch to a clockwise rotation. I am getting dizzy. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, Click. I was just concentrating. You know, half of writing is thinking. Hearing the characters talking in your head. Like, I'm hearing Leona say... Oh, shaking, Lionel, baby. Is that what you had in mind? What you writing, Lionel? I'm working on my story. It's coming along so great. It's in the crime genre. What's the, uh, crime, um, uh, uh, blah, blah? Genre, a distinctive style of literary composition from the French genre, meaning kind. And my story's in the crime genre. You know, like the Sam Spud detective mysteries. Oh! Oh, I like the cute animal genre. Can you write in the cute animal genre, Lionel? Oh, come on, Leona, I'm trying to concentrate. Take a powder, doll face. Take a powder, doll face? <laughs> That's the way they talk in the crime genre. Well, see you later, alligator. Hmm? That's how they talk in the cute animal genre. Okay, where were we? Hmm. It was morning, like any other morning. At least, it started out that way. I was working the front desk with this little lion dame. She looked just like my sister. As a matter of fact, she was my sister. We were stacking return books, stamping them, you know, library stuff. When all of a sudden, a scream split the silence. Ah! Huh? Okay, a chicken split the silence. What the heck was that? We better go check. Hmm. Mom and Pop made like bananas and split. They left me in charge. I'm the responsible one. Ah! Hey, wait for me. Sometimes. I knew Leona would be fine. She's young, but she's no fool. Unfortunately, somebody was about to play her for one. Hiya, Cupcake. Am I right in assuming that this is where one would take out a book? If one was to want to read one? Yes, it is, sir. Uh, um, yes, may I please have your library card? Uh, ooh, uh, yeah, let's see. My card. My library card, of yes. course. Uh, what did I do with it? Oh, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot it. Well, um, sir, that, 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 that is a problem, you see, because, well, uh, I'm not allowed to give you a book without a library card. Oh, come on! Please? Oh, pretty please. I, I, I'll bring it back tomorrow. I promise. Please. Come on, you got lots of books. Hey, Lionel. Yeah, uh, what? Why didn't Leona simply issue him a temporary library card to use? Until he brings in his card. We do that, you know. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Too bad Leona didn't know about temporary library cards. Better. Thanks. <laughs> the monkey was really reading the wine list, playing it like a chime, taking it for a ride. But Leona still wasn't changing her mind. I I'm very sorry, sir, but, well, how do I know that you'll bring it back for sure? Just then, the monkey spotted a spider. Hey, look! You see that spider on that book? Yeah, he can be our witness. Someone who saw what happened. He heard the whole conversation. I promise in front of that spider that I will return that book tomorrow. OK, 
Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I, I mean, uh, now that we have a witness, I feel yeah. much better about it. Oh, great. Yeah, I think I can. Okay. There All we right. go. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the book. Oh, I will. <laughs> Poor kid. He took her straight down Chump Street in a leaky canoe. Lionel, where's Chump Street? <sighs> it's an expression click. A chump is somebody who gets tricked. And she's in a canoe that leaks? No, 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 no. She's at the front desk. You know, it's just a funny way of saying she's headed for trouble. It's, um, writerish. Mm, interesting. Mm, thanks. On a street. In a canoe. Yeah, who's writing this? You or me? You are. Thank you. But a canoe? Black. Hmm? Oh, you have to help me. Something's itching inside my head. Okay, no problem, Buster. Open up so we can see, um, uh... Inside? Yeah. Mm. Huh. Okay. We can't see anything, Buster. Open. Uh, Wider? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. How's this? Uh, it's a. Uh, uh, it's... Spider? Yeah. Mm. Ah! 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 Spider. Ah! <laughs> the old rubber spider inside your head trick works every time. <laughs> How's it going, Spidey? Spider. I. This is your first time on TV? Oh, and now the out of sight Martha Wiener and those mighty Bow Wells sing the long I, I sound in the word kite. Everything was pretty quiet. Too quiet. Ooh, what happens? What happens? Leona and I were entering the reading nook when suddenly she sees him. The monkey. Look! Lionel! It, it's him! It's him! The monkey who took the book! 
The monkey who took the book? Yes! Excuse me. Excuse me, Mr. Monkey. I hope you remember to bring back that book like you promised. Book? Uh, what book? The, the, the one that you borrowed. Without a card, remember? I don't recall borrowing no book. But, but, but you did. Don't, don't, don't you remember me? And you promised to bring it back. Oh, and the, the spider. Remember the spider was our witness. <sighs> Look, I never borrowed no book. I never saw no spider. And I've never seen you before in my life. Okay. It was Leona's word against the monkeys. We had no choice. We had to take it to court. Okay, sweetheart, sit down me one more time, because I'm confused. This monkey wanted to take out a book with no library card? Mm -hmm. Yes, and he said he'd return it the very next day, but then he didn't. He said he never borrowed the book. Hey, she's a big, fat... Liar! Hey, monkey! Please refrain from commenting on the character of the plaintiff. Well, she is. Hey. Sorry. We, we believe, believe you, Leona, honey. Come on, there. Yeah. It's okay. Of course yes. they believe her. They're her parents. Hey, my parents believe me too. Right, mom, dad, huh? Hey, what? Oh, yeah, oh we yes, you're like right. a good we boy. You. Yeah, you see? And my lawyer believes me. Excuse me, monkey, sir, but your lawyer lies like a rug. Is that bad? <laughs> <laughs> you may step down, cutie pie. Thank you. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Let me get this straight. His lawyer is a rug? Yeah, funny, right? Get it? Because he lies like a rug. <laughs> oh, a pun. <laughs> uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let's get back to the story. And then, the judge turned to the monkey. You, monkey. Let's, let's hear, hear your side. side. Uh, my side? And now it's time for... Gwen's word! Gwen's word! Gawain here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir... <laughs> and Sir I'm. I'm. Blend on, dude. I'm. 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 That's Gawain's word for today, and this is Gawain saying it would be a crime not to see you next time on Gawain's word. Gawain's word. Barnaby B. Busterfield III, Memorial Public Library, Information and Speaking. <laughs> What time is it when your clock strikes 25? Ooh, deep question. I'll have to look that up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is, there it is. When your clock strikes 25, it's time to get a new clock. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome anytime, Mr. Hawking, anytime. Time, anytime. Oh, it's funny, Mr. Hawking, isn't it? I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I A fiery horse, a cloud of eraser dust, and a hearty hi hi With his trusty sidekick, Russell Epson Grub, again rewrites Lone the Rearranger. The Lone Rearranger rewrites again. Oh my. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, no. Lone, did you notice anything odd about that? The horse riding on that cowboy? Didn't have a seatbelt on. Well, yes, but besides that... All right, you two lawbreakers are under arrest. Sheriff, I have never broken any law, be it civil, grammatical, or gravitational. Well, you're breaking one now. I hope. Shine some light on this. Horses must ride cowboys into the corral. <laughs> we must obey the law, Russell. Uh, hold on just a smidge. Lone, I think that sign might need a bit of rearranging. <laughs> cowboys must ride horses into the corral. Hey, that makes more sense. Who was that banana nose masked stranger? We didn't even get a chance to thank him. Mm. Or ask him if he knows a good chiropractor. Hi -ho, hi -ho, hooray! Why must you always yell in that poor horsey's ears? Ride. I'd hide. Hid. Hip. Hip. Ip. Rip. Rip. A E I O U. Sometimes wise a vowel to sound off. A E. Sound off. I O U. Sound off. A E I O U. Why two? All right, lowercase letter heads. Move it. Move it. Move it. <laughs> Wake up, wake up! This isn't camp itty bitty kitty time! This is Vowel Boot Camp! Now sound off! A E I O U O U! Do we have an L trying to infiltrate the Vol Squad? Or did Private I forget to dot himself this morning? <laughs> Front and center, I! State your long and short sounds! I is my long sound. I is my short sound, sir. Suddenly, an R and a P catch you in a pincher action. What do you sound like, soldier? I. Word. Rip. Now suppose an E slips in on his right flank without making a sound. What's the drill, soldiers? When E on the end plays a no-talking game, the vowel before it says its name. And now, what's your sound, Private Eye? I. A word. Ripe. Yes, ripe. Ha. Let's rip it up, Ball Squad, and go make some words. Forward march. <laughs> <laughs> Now a word from Mr. Al Roker. Chili. <laughs> oh, 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 Mr. Roker. Oh, that thank, was magnificent. Thank you very much. Chili. It is chili. It is. It's time to get your mouth moving with Fred and the Freds. A E I O U. Babbity bap bip bop bop. Woo! You gotta get your mouth moving. Bappity bam, you gotta get your mouth grooving. Zappity zam, you gotta get your mouth, get your mouth, get your mouth, get your mouth, get your mouth moving. Time to jam, you gotta get your mouth moving. Ready, set, you gotta get your mouth grooving. Don't forget, you gotta get your mouth, get your mouth, get your mouth, get your mouth, get your mouth moving. Are you best? Some folks shrink, they say they think that it just isn't in. But hold on tight, you know you got a right to take your mouth out for a spin. Bobbity bep, a bip a bam. Zappity zip, a jib jump jam. Idly diddly bap a bop. Zip zap zim, chudly chop. Yeah, some folks budge, they just won't budge. They sit there like a lump. But I say, bub, well, there's the rub. You gotta get up and make your mouth jump. You gotta get your mouth bopping. Don't you stop. You gotta get your chops hopping till you drop. You gotta get your mouth, 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 mouth bopping. Let it pop. Why you need a 
pencil when you have a state-of-the-art computer. <sighs> Writers need pencils. You can't chew on a computer. <laughs> oh, right. <gasps> and then the judge said... So, did you promise that little cub over there that you'd bring back a book and then you didn't, hmm? No, it never happened, I tell you. I never took the book she said I did. I never said what she said I said, and I never saw that little fur ball in my life. If there is no book, then he is not a crook. If he says it's not so, you must let him go. Yo, Rug, lie down. Okay. <laughs> Theo and Cleo, you may cross-examine. Things look bad, real bad. Just as Mom and Pop were about to question the monkey, Leona remembered her secret weapon. The spider. <coughs> no, Mr. Monkey. Can you tell the court your full name, please? Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see... Monkey do you. That's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> Mr. Monkey do you. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual when you spoke with this, this adorable, innocent little lion yesterday? I already told you. I did not talk to Miss Lion yesterday. Is that so? Then I suppose you didn't notice that there was a witness to the scene. A spider. <laughs> a spider? <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Ouch. A spider who heard everything. Who heard, you promise. A spider on your hat? <laughs> that shows how much you know. The spider wasn't on my hat. The spider was on that bookcase over there. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. So you admit there was a spider there. Well, uh, and that that spider was present when you talked to Leona. Well, when you promised her you would return that book. Is that correct, Mr. monkey Do? If that is your real name. Well, uh, I, uh, well, I... Is, is that, that correct, correct, Mr. monkey Do? Yes, yes, I admit it. I lied. I did it. I lied about the whole thing. I'm a big, fat liar. Oh! <laughs> 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 No more questions, Your Honor. I think we know who was telling the truth here. Leona Lyon was telling the truth. Guilty. I sentence you to saying you're sorry and bringing back that book as soon as possible. Well, not a problem. <laughs> here, I'm really sorry. Uh, I just couldn't afford a library card. Would you? But well, they're free! Free? You're kidding. But I didn't know that. Uh, wow! <laughs> Come to the front desk uh, before you leave, Mr. Monkey Dude. Yeah. We'll get your forms all filled out. Great. Uh... Yeah, and in the meantime, we'll give you a temporary library card. Oh. Huh. I really ought to have my own TV show. Dad! Mom, let's never lie again. Okay. Sure. <laughs> you hungry, you eat this? Oh, I'm starving. Another case closed. Sunshine and lollipops. Yeah. Fantastic. Fabulous. I wouldn't change a word. Mm, I kind of liked it myself. Hey, let's print it up and make a book out of it. Hey, guys! Hey, guys! Mom and Dad just read me the best new story! Yeah? It's in the folktale genre. Cool. It's, it's called The Fly and the Lie, and it's from Vietnam. Oh. It, it, it's about these two guys, you see, and one wants to steal the gold from the other one. And, and so he says that it's okay because there's this fly on the wall, and that will be their witness. Yeah. But then the second guy, he fools him later on by telling him that the fly is in a different place. Whoa. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, hey, you know, this is incredible. Really? It sounds just like my story, only different. <laughs>
Barnaby B. Busterfield III had a spider, and inside his head is where Barnaby would hide her. <laughs> Take that, Mother Goose. <laughs> Just goes to show you, there are a lot of genres in the Naked City. The very end. There are games and stories at the Between the Lions website. PBSKids.org or America Online. Keyword PBS Kids. And they lived happily ever after. Read to a child once a day and she'll learn happily ever after. Be a designated reader. Happily ever after. Very good, Leona.